Hi everyone, so yes, we did get some updates and reminders on iOS 17. These updates I think are really helpful to make reminders an even more powerful and helpful app for people. So let's get into it and cover all the things that are new on reminders. So the first feature I wanna cover is one that I think is most useful. I really like this update, which is finally having the option for grocery lists. So you can make any new list and title it groceries or whatever, or just shopping. But what you can then do is you can go to that list. So I have this one here. I'm gonna start adding just a few items to this so I'm gonna go ahead and type in milk bread cheese steak let's even add some household items soap all that kind of stuff so we have that all here so what I can do now is I can go here to the three dots you can do this before you add into the list or after I just want to show you how this works so you can go into there go to show list info and now when you go to list type click on that you can choose groceries and then it will now sort all your groceries into different categories. So here you can see it categorized each one. So we have breads and cereals, meats, dairy, egg and plant proteins, household items. So this is really helpful. So even if I have, let's say everything ticked off here, now you will see there is a little carrot indicating that this is a shopping list or grocery list type and not just a regular list since we changed the list type to groceries. So this is really helpful, I think, and it's just a very fun update. So this is definitely one of my favorites. And I think it will save you some time in the grocery store not having to run between different aisles. Another cool new feature is early reminders. So let's go ahead and create a new reminder. Let's say I have a dentist appointment and I want to set the details I'm gonna set a date to let's say the second um, so that is tomorrow and um, I can also set the time to like 12 o'clock but then you have this option here now which is early reminder so what this does is you can set when you want that early reminder to come so you want that notification maybe like one day before so you're aware okay tomorrow I need to go to the dentist and you can even go to custom here and then set exactly how many days how many weeks all that kind of stuff so it is really helpful so early reminders are now available so you can easily get a reminder before the actual event happens one of my favorite updates as well is now being able to have sections within your list so here you can see I already added ones here so I added a section for scripting filming editing and publishing so this is in terms of of videos so this is a really fun feature so basically how this works is you just go to again the three dots here and then you can go ahead and select manage sections and here you can go ahead and add a section or you can edit the section so editing the sections means you can edit the order that they show up in so that is just how you can go ahead and edit that and add a section if you want to and you can even like hold down on some of these so let's say I want to move the reminders video to filming since I'm filming it right now I can just move that to filming and it's easy as that and you can also have a Kanban view of all this if you don't know what that is you can go to the three dots it's basically just in columns you will if you're familiar with notion you know you have this option as well so now it looks like this which is actually very pleasing to the eye I think so you can then have it in this view which is in columns and again you can still move these around very easily from one column to another. And also if you wanna edit the order of these columns, you can again just go to manage columns and edit columns and then move them around to which ones you want to be viewed first and then yeah, as the list goes on. Also what's really nice, if you have any subtask within a reminder, you can just view that here as well and hide it as well. So I think this is a very nice view as well, depending on the types of list that you make. And lastly, this isn't actually a feature, but I think it's very helpful, is we now have interactive widgets on iOS 17, meaning that you can have a reminders list on your home screen and you can tick it off from your home screen. So I did a whole video on all the new interactive widgets. If you wanna go check that out, I'll have that linked in the iPod top. But here on my home screen, you can see I have my list of videos here and I can easily like just tick them off if I want to and then it will remove that, it will lower the amount of reminders, all that. So I think this is a very helpful feature if you just want to have your lists viewed at a glance and you don't have to go into the reminders app every single time. Even for like daily to-do lists and things like that, I think this will be very helpful. So that was reminders on iOS 17. I hope you're as excited about this update as I am. I think it's some very cool features and iOS 17 has just been a blast to play around with the last few weeks. So yeah, I really recommend it. I can't wait for it to actually be live for everyone. But yeah, that was my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments down below what are some of your favorite features that are released with iOS 17. And if this video was helpful for you, definitely give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.